there, and welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And yes, today I'm trying to, can, can you guys see this, by the way? Amiga 3000 on the right, Amiga 1200 on the left. All right, Amiga 3000 on the right, Phase 5, 68060, uh, Picasso 4 for RTG, Amiga 1200, Pi Storm 32 Lite with, yes, with, the latest hotfix update that was released today, which was, I think, uh, August 26, 2023. So if you're watching this video in the future, it's probably not uh, up to date. But anyway, here I am with both of these side by side, and you're probably wondering, well, why are you doing this side by side? I want to have a Control 68060, old school Mega 3000, old school accelerator card, Okay, and then the modern, you know, accelerator card, Pi Storm 32 Lite in the 1200. So this is kind of the control on the right, on the left. By the way, if you can look over here, how awesome does that Picasso 4 look with the new thickness VGA cable? Thanks to all my subscribers and viewers who suggested I put the big thickness cable. Looks gorgeous. Over here, what are we seeing? Mark III Intervision Flicker Fixer looking amazing. By the way, I don't want to say anything prematurely. I'm not sure what's going on. When I updated the Pi Storm 32 Lite, the Indivision Mark III scaling and, you know, how it scales the screen here looks way better. So, I don't know. For the record, they should have nothing to do with each other. Uh, Pi Storm 32 updating its, uh, you know, its software should have nothing to do with Indivision Mark III. So I don't know what's going on, but all I did was update the Pi Storm 32 Lite with the latest version, you know, and then I turned my 1200 on, and all of a sudden, the scaling and the quality of the scaling of my Indivision Mark III, you know, flicker fixer thingy is looking amazing. Like, wow, it looks the same as the Picasso 4 over here. In fact, I don't know if you can see this, with, you know, can you, can, you, can you guys see this? I don't know if you can see this, but looking at the 3000 Picasso 4 screen using, you know, 35 year old technology versus the 1200 using a hybrid of current technology and 35 year old technology, both of these screens look the same to me as far as their scaling and quality. Like even, you know, the text, the fonts here, I don't, not, I'm really not sure what's going on. I don't know why anything Pi Storm 32 was doing would affect the Intervision Mark III. That's really bizarre. So I appreciate it. I welcome it. Awesome. The Pi Storm 32 has done a bunch of updates. There's a huge write-up. If I can remember, if I can remember, I will put a link in the description below where they talk about all of the updates to the current version of the Pi Storm. And this is not a, an official release. This is still a beta. It's even a hot fix of a beta. So it's not like a final release. But I did want to just kind of go over and see what's going on. And well, one of the first things we can see is how great the screen looks. Jeez. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to dive right into Lightwave. So here we go. Lightwave on the 1200. Now I'm going to go over here and go Lightwave into the 3000. All right. So we've got Lightwave 1200, Lightwave 3000. You may remember, some of my faithful subscribers may remember, didn't you trash talk the Indivision Mark III Q about how it was like an unreliable product and you had to do all kinds of crazy things to make it work? Mm, yes and no. The fact is, if you've watched my videos, you do know I am now using a different revision motherboard Amiga 1200 with my Indivision Mark III and it is probably the best flicker fixer I've ever used in my life. It's amazing, and I covered this in a prior video. Go back through my channel, look all my stuff up. You're gonna see all kinds of crazy Indivision Mark III videos. But yeah, uh, I finally was lucky enough because I had two Amiga 1200s. I know it's 2023 and somehow I had two Amiga 1200s. It's because I bought these things a long, long, long time ago. And I finally decided to swap the Indivision Mark III into the other one and it worked brilliantly. It worked like probably how whoever these guys that invented it wanted it to work. And it looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. I, I'm looking at it right now and it looks better than an actual real Amiga 3000 with a Picasso 4 card in it. So real Amiga 
Real Amiga Plus in Division. And I'm like, uh, yeah, this looks better. This video is not about the Indivision Mark III, is it? It's about the Pi Storm 32 Lite update. And what we're going to do right now, instead of beating around the bush and me kind of stalling and delaying, let's go over here and look at the 3000. I'm going to click on the 3000 here, left click the mouse button, and move the display. Look at that. Look how smooth and fast that is. Isn't that awesome? Well, that's so great. I love it. I love it. So smooth. Now, let's go over to the 1200 with the Pi Storm 32 Lite, and let's see if we can get something similar. I'm going to left click and rotate. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Now, some of my more keen viewers might be like, well, Q, as good as that looks, I kind of think the 3000 was just a little bit faster. Well, guess what? This 1200, do you see the yellow coloring here? This 1200 is an eight color mode, which even on an AGA chipset, with all of its awesomeness, and even an accelerator card like a 60 to 60, <laughs> I don't know about being this smooth. So, well, let's test it, right? I have an Amiga 3000 over here with a Picasso 4. Now keep in mind, the Picasso 4 is a non-player in this test. We're not even using it. Only thing the Picasso 4 is doing is passing through the Amiga 3000 video. So what I'm gonna do is switch over to eight color mode on this Amiga 3000 with its non-AGA chipset and see what the 6060 can do with the ECS chipset. So let's look back over here. Let's let's look back over here at the 1200. Eight color AGA with the Pi Storm 32 Lite. Looking really good. Now, if you watch my previous videos, this was a slideshow. This was really, really bad. Let's come over here and set this 3000 to eight color mode. All right, so now let's go ahead, left click and rotate. Oh. Oh no, oh no, oh, it's pretty choppy. Well, that's a pretty definitive result. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people like to update their Pi Storms or whatever current accelerator they're using and they, they show a video game or a demo. I use Lightwave's little interactive 3D viewer viewport thing here because this is a real-time rendering platform here with Lightwave. This is using CPU, it's using chip memory, it's using fast memory, it's using all the things. And it's a really good way to you know to, to kind of see what the speeds are going to be here. And uh yeah, this is this is really great actually. This is super cool. For an eight color display, uh this is really, really smooth. And as you just saw on the 3000, even though it's got a 60 to 60 at 50 megahertz, it's chugging in eight color mode. I I Back in the day, I would never use my Amiga 3000, even with its 6840, in, in eight color mode. I would, always, I would always switch to four color mode. I never had a 6860 back in the day, so I couldn't tell you, but having one now, being fortunate to have one now, uh, the eight color mode is, it's pretty slow. So this Pi Storm 32 Lite is a, all right, so you see what's going on over here? See this little wiggly, wiggly, wiggly? Don't freak out. That does happen every now and then, and it see, it goes away. The longer the 3000 is on, the less that happens. Okay, it's just kind of a, this Re Amiga 3000, it's, it's been working really well, and I, I still stand by this, that I always call it my always boots 3000. Every time I turn it on, it always boots. But yeah, while it's warming up, sometimes the amber chip does a little, uh, eh, it does a little weirdness there. But anyway, this Pi Storm 32 uh, update, you know, he has this great list of all the stuff they've done and all the awesome things they've done. We already know it can render fast. So, I mean, I've, I've shown you loading up scenes and pressing F9 on Lightwave and, oh, it's so fast, it's so fast, it's so fast. But the graphics, the graphics were so slow, but no longer are the graphics slow. This is super quick. This real-time 3D rendering environment that Lightwave does is, I mean, look at this, it's awesome. In fact, you know what, instead of boring you with this, so let's go ahead and load up Apple Water 5. Uh, if you've watched my channel, I did a, I do lots of Lightwave videos on how to use Lightwave, uh, the Amiga version, and what you can do and how to use it and create art, retro pixel art. 
This was a uh, thing I did a while back. You saw how fast it loaded, how quickly the screen updated. In fact, if we go to make preview, I'm gonna say, let's do every single frame in wireframe and click okay and watch this generate. That's that's actually pretty fast. We're, we are getting at least, I would say slightly faster than one frame a second on this wireframe preview. And that I know may sound silly to some of you, but that's really, really good, especially for an Amiga 1200 with yes, a modern accelerator card in it, but that's really, really good. I normally, I would never be able to make a wireframe preview of this animation on an Amiga, like this 3000 over here with the 68060 in full wireframe mode. It would, it would take, it would, it wouldn't be one frame a second. It would be like one frame every 10 seconds. And so what I would do is I wouldn't do wireframe mode. I would do like point mode where it's a bunch of dots instead of the little polygons you're seeing here. So we've probably done enough. We can go ahead and hit play. So 30 frames a second, go ahead and hit play. And there you go. So you can see the little animation playing here. PyStorm is doing it, no problem. The uh, individual Mark III scaling is amazing. It looks beautiful. I'm actually like floored how good this looks. This looks as good as an RGB to HDMI, maybe even better. Well, it is better because it's AGA, right? Yeah, okay. So not sure why the Indivision Mark III has gained amazing scaling by me updating the PyStorm. That's kind of got me a little floored. So I have not updated eyebrows in a while. So unfortunately it's not the newest version. So that means my Amy SSL is out of date and eyebrows is out of date. But I just wanted to see the scaling. Uh, yeah, this actually looks really good. There's no weird chunkiness going on. My workbench is set to 32 color mode, by the way. So if you're seeing any kind of weird dithering or anything, that's because that, yeah, this in this, look at this, the scrolling is really good. There's like not a lot of artifact weirdness happening. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. I've got to say, uh, an Amiga 1200 with PyStorm 32 Lite latest firmware right now, uh, that's, this is super awesome Amiga because you're getting a real Amiga. Remember, you're still using all of the Amiga awesomeness of the 1200. The PyStorm 32 Lite is basically just an accelerator card, okay, in memory. It's accelerator and memory card. It's like having a, you know, a phase five, you know, or microbotics, you know, accelerator, or GVP accelerator in your 1200, giving you ridiculous amounts of memory. Yes, two, two gigs of memory, which is frankly absurd. I don't even know why they would give you that much memory, but, uh, this this is awesome it's acting very much like my 1200 normally does if i have like a gvp 60 to 30 in it but of course it's just a little bit it's a fast it's faster because it's the spy storm thing wow this is really really cool yeah uh and this pie storm 32 light is still really affordable it's nothing like trying to fight like you wanted to buy a 50 megahertz 60 to 30 gvp card for your 1200 that would cost you like four or five hundred dollars or more. The Pi Storm 32 is like, I don't know, it's not even that. What is like 150 bucks, 200 bucks? I don't know. You guys, you you all know what it's gonna cost. It ain't it ain't 500 or 600 dollars though. So this that's pretty slick. Like wow. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick update with some comparison of the 3060 and the Pi Storm 32 here. This thing is amazing. It's getting better every every month. It gets better. And this latest update, at least for Lightwave, I know a lot of you use your Amigas for gaming, but for Lightwave 3D work, that I just showed you this uh, apples and oranges. And uh, that's, that's awesome. Wow. Okay. That's it. I'm done with this video.